I just did a whole like 12 minute reaction on what I thought about Kendrick Lamar's response to Drake dropping Give Me 50. Kendrick Lamar's response is called Euphoria. I just gave a whole 12 minute reaction to it and I felt everything that I said in that reaction. I felt every line that I said in the reaction. And then when I got done recording my reaction, I still had like 15 minutes left in my drive home. I said, I'm gonna spend this last couple minutes of my drive home and I'm gonna give Kendrick Lamar's response another run because I only gave it, I only played it twice. And then I gave a reaction to it. So I've turned it on again after hearing back, cause I played back before I even edited or posted my reaction, I listened to it. And then I said, let me give it another run. So this was the third run, the third run. I'm not even gonna hold you. I listened to it again for the third time and I'm starting to get in tune with it. You know how shit gotta grow on you? And I'm starting to get in tune with it. And that's my take on it. I'm gonna keep this one real short. I don't think he body Drake, but he punched him in the mouth. He punched him in the mouth and he smacked him a couple times. I ain't gotta give you no quotables cause you already listened to it a thousand times cause I'm late with it. But I listened to it for the third time and I feel like he smacked Drake in the mouth. And this is after my first reaction. This is how I feel overall after everything, even, even after my first reaction. I did a reaction to my reaction. This shit should go viral. Put this down in the history books. I'm the first nigga that did a reaction to his reaction. That's my take on it. Press like, share, subscribe, drop it in the comments. It's good to see you and it's good to be seen and not viewed. It's your boy Lips from Conscious Bully Network. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my first reaction right after this one. So just understand that this is two reactions and not one. I'm going to drop my first reaction in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, Conscious Family. What's good with everybody? I hope everybody doing well. It's your boy, Lives from Conscious Bully Network. I wasn't gonna do this, because I'm kind of like over the whole thing. I'm gonna do it because it is my opinion, and I do respect the people who took the time to listen to my other re reactions. So I just wanted to give you what I thought about this euphoria with Kendrick Lamar. I'm gonna keep it all and we funky with y'all. I didn't even know it was out. I mean, I worked 12 hours a day. I was at work. I called bro, agonized, and he asked me, did I hear, what do I think about it? And he told me what he thought about it. I said, I didn't even know it was out. I didn't even hear it. So when I got home from work, it was the first thing I did. I said, let me check this out. Now, mind you, I'm gonna just speak my truth. It's 17 days later after Drake's drop and give me 50. You know, a lot of people call it push-ups. It's 17 days after that. So I'm taking that into consideration. The same way I took in consideration that it took Drake, I think 21 days after Kendrick said, you know, it's just big me. So I'm taking that in consideration that it took Kendrick 17 days to respond to that. And when I first put it on, yeah, I was looking for a body bag. In the words of Kate Sean, I was looking for a zip him up. That's what I was looking for because I got a lot of confidence in Kendrick. And I know, and I got a hell of a lot of confidence and, and, uh, and Drake as well But for Kendrick I was looking for A whole lot more Because he seldom seen Seldom heard 
And when people are seldom seen, seldom heard, it's like they drop a bomb on you. Look how long it took Nas to respond to TakeOver. And then out of nowhere, he dropped Ether. It was even more longer than Drake took. So I was looking for a whole lot. And when I first listened to it, I kept in mind that this is Kendrick. We're in a new era. And it just didn't... It just didn't do much for me when I first put it on. It's over six minutes long. By the time I got to like minute number four, I was like, okay, you know, the beat switched up and and I was just giving it a chance. To be honest with you, I'm not really feeling the, the beats on there. It's probably because, you know, I'm a I'm a 70s baby. I'm 48 years old. The new wave has approached us. And I'm, if, I may be taking some time to adapt to the new, the new wave of hip hop because everything changes. But when I first turned it on, I was just listening. And by the time we got to minute number five, I just turned it off and I started watching the game. Uh, it was heating up. It was heating up. You know what I mean? They, by the time I got home from work, it was only like three minutes left in the fourth quarter. And I thought the Sixers was going to lose. They was up when I first turned it on. Then I thought they was going to lose. And then they went into overtime. It was getting so good. I just turned. I just turned Euphoria off. I said, I'll catch up on it later. And that tells me a lot. That tells me that I wasn't really into it as much as I wanted to be into it. So, that's my take on it, right? I was like, I can't believe this is it. This is it. And then my stepson came in in the living room uh, when the game was over. He said, Mr. Liv, did you listen to Kendrick's response? And I said, yeah, I heard it. And I gave him my opinion about it. And, and that's what I'm about to give to y'all. I said, I'm really like just over this whole beef thing and this whole battle thing because it's not the kind of battle that I'm used to hearing, you know. I listened to, and then I had to think about what I heard so far. The hardest joint that I heard in this whole battle was from J. Cole. It was from J. Cole. I, I can't make this up. This is my opinion. But I had to exclude J. Cole from my conversation with my stepson because J. Cole did the unthinkable and he apologizes. He apologized and he excluded himself from out of it. So I had to exclude him from out of our conversation and I just kept it on Kendrick and Drake. And I, and I was like, man, it's just not like, I told my stepson, I said, have you ever heard Ethan? He said, he's never really heard it. I played it for him. And then I told him about when Beanie Siegel dissed Jadakiss and when Jadakiss responded, you know, and um, it's a whole lot of beefs I could have mentioned to him, but I didn't mention everything to him. He's 17 years old. I don't expect him to understand or know these things. So I play Ether for him. I, I pointed out where Nas was being really disrespectful. I don't feel like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel like Kendrick or Drake was being disrespectful enough. I, it wasn't mean to me. Like they're over like trap. Like Kendrick over like trap beats And then you got that old school Smooth melody beat And it's just like I was like man it just doesn't feel like What I think A battle should feel like And this is just my opinion So I was like I'm, I'm not really Feeling it but because you Listen to Ether Because you sat here and you listened to Ether I'm going to give Kendrick's Euphoria Another run and I gave it another run, and I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. I felt it more the second time around. I felt it more the second time around. I start listening to exactly what he was saying. And here's my conclusion. I had to take the beats out of the situation on Kendrick's response. I just ignored the beat and I start paying more attention to the lyrics. And although he said a lot of things that was said already by different people, like Pusha T and 
you know, uh, he wasn't really being original with the things that he was saying. There were certain things that he did say that he was that he was original. Like, you know, if you stop uh, lying about me, I won't tell the truth about you or something like that. I forgot how he said it. But it was when I start paying attention to the lyrics, I said, oh, this is really good. I just didn't like the beats and I have to respect the new generation of battle. I, I looked at Kendrick, J. Cole, and uh, Drake as the new Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas. But the reason why I don't really feel this whole thing is because at first I was feeling it. But in retrospect, I'm like, I'm not really feeling it because, you know, the battles that I love, these were street guys who turned rappers. It was street music. Everything was street. Everything was hard. Everything was disrespectful. It was mean. And then when I start thinking about this battle, these are all backpack rappers. They backpack rappers. They might have grew up in the streets. I mean, don't get it confused. Kendrick Lamar is from Compton. Compton is one of the roughest cities that you could ever think of in the hip-hop language, in the hip-hop world. And don't ever get it confused with where J. Cole's from. He's from Fayetteville. That's about 40 minutes from my house. They call it Vietnam. The city is on the news every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it goes down. Drake is from Toronto, Canada. I don't know a lot about the streets in Canada, but what I'm saying is, these are rappers that are backpack rappers. These are not street rappers. So I had to take keep that in mind. I had to keep that in mind. And I respect it on the level for what it was. And what I got right now is I, I got a tie. I got it I got it tied up right now. It's one to one between Kendrick and Drake. A lot of people don't feel that way. And they feel like Kendrick body Drake. And hey, I respect it. As far as lyrics, I'm just going off lyrics with with the both of them until one of them give me something different. Give me something with a hard beat that sounds like battling and then I'll feel different. And I asked my stepson, I said, listen to everything that Kendrick Lamar said in this, in this response. Do you think if he went up against a URL rapper that that would hold any weight? And he told me he don't really watch URL. He doesn't really have a favorite battle rapper. And I'm keeping at it. They, these are Kendrick's fans. These are J. Cole's fans. Drake got all kind of fans. E even J. Cole has all kind of fans as well as Kendrick. But the youth, this is what the youth thinks. Like they don't, a lot of them don't even listen to battle rap. And they, they don't really understand the cadences that Nas was using in Ether and things like that. So I have to respect the level of where we at. And so I'm going to give it my opinion. My opinion is it's tied up. Okay. Now, I really do want to hear what Drake got to say next. And if Drake don't body him, I'm not saying that he will. I'm saying that he probably could. But if he don't, and Kendrick come back and respond to that, and it's, I'm going to get bored with it because I'm used to somebody getting bodied after a battle. It's not supposed to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And that's my take on it. I'm talking about it because they gave me something to talk about. Until I get something else to talk about, I'm keeping my mouth closed. Until the next time, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see you and it's good to be seen. And always remember, conscious is a way of life, baby.